Let's talk about how to perform the exercises um, and something called supersets. So when people look at a program like this, sometimes what their instinct to do is do a set of squats, rest for 30 seconds or whatever, then do their second set of squat, then rest for 30 seconds, then do their third set, set of squats. This is called straight sets. And a lot of people do this in the gym. Um, I don't want you to perform the exor exercises like this um, because you won't get enough rest in between each set. And if you do get enough rest between e each set, the, the workout will be impossibly long. The other way that people instinctively perform these exercises is in one giant circuit. So they'll do a set of squat, a set of floor press, a set of row, a set of glute bridges, a set of dead bugs, a set of single leg deadlifts. And then they'll go back to the beginning and do a second set of each one. This is circuit training. This is what a lot of people do in classes and things like that. It's a fun way of working out, but it's not strength training because you're going to wear some of the muscles out um, for the most important exercises. So the mo most important compound exercises are always at the beginning of your workout. And you don't want to tire those muscles out with accessory exercises that come later on. OK, so how should you perform the exercises? As you can see, the exercises are sort of color coded here. You have two white exercises, two green exercises and two white exercises. Um, in the intermediate programs, we have the same thing. Um, and I've also designated it with A1, A2, B1, B2, C1, C2, and D1, D2. And these are obviously red. These are like totally optional um, exercises that you can do if you have time and inclination. You could just as easily do this workout without those exercises. So what I want you to do is perform these exercises in supersets, okay? That is two exercises that are grouped together that are different muscle groups. So this squat and these push-ups um, use different muscle groups. So the squat uses your legs and the push-ups use pushing muscles and your chest muscles and the backs of your arms. So what you're gonna do is a set of squats you're going to rest for however long you need to rest. Maybe you need 30 seconds, but the likelihood is you'll need two or three minutes if you're doing anything really heavy. And then you'll go on to push ups and then you'll rest for a minute or two, maybe three. And then you'll go back to the squats. OK, so. So the goal isn't to do these back to back as fast as possible and get your heart rate up. That's hit, hit, hit training or like circuit training. And it's not the goal of strength training. In strength training, you want to rest for as long as is practical. You want to at least bring your heart rate down um, and then you go on to the next exercise. The advantage of supersets is that it's really time saving. OK, if you do it right, you can if I rest for just one minute between the squats and the push ups and then one minute between the push ups and the squats, it means that the my legs have at least three minutes to rest before they're working again. So you get three minutes rest, but you also get another exercise done and another body part done um, in the in that time that your legs are resting. So it's extremely extremely time efficient. You get more rest without actually sitting around doing nothing. So once you've done the first two exercises, you do set one, set two, set three, if you need to, with plenty of rest between the exercises and between the sets, then you move on to the second superset, okay, B1, B2. You finish those and then you move on to the third superset. So you're not doing straight sets. You're not doing one big giant set three times. You're working in pairs. You're doing supersets, completing three sets of supersets and then moving on to the next superset. This is really time efficient and allows you to do more work in less time.